guys! Welcome back to my channel and I'm excited to share with you another makeup tip for fall season. I'm actually excited about this because I've been loving fall season lately and not because I'm celebrating fall here. In the Philippines, there's no such thing as fall season. We literally just have rain rainy and hot season. But I really, really love um, putting on a twist on makeup. I'm not that good at putting on makeup but i really want to share with you guys simple tips and how to make a nice fall makeup look so let's start with the base so the base is typically well not my pale face but a bare face first a nice clean bare base and then you're going to put what i wanted to use for fall season which is this one this is a tinted moisturizer i already put on my sunscreen my sunscreen is spf 50 i use the megan sunscreen but Right now, it doesn't really, um, it's not anymore on production. The only thing that I could buy it is when it's in um, Shopee, but it really up, amped up the price. So it's not as the original before, but I do use the sunflower one, but yeah. So we'll go with the Tinted Moisturizer by Quick Fix. I love this. I don't really break out with this. I still want to be sure that I don't break out with this. So it's just that consistency I put an a lot of amount and then just warm it up on my hands so it's, it really has tint because my face is really pale I really need a bit of color on my face so we're just gonna put that here just to put some color on my face So when I'm putting a base on my face, like a tinted moisturizer, it does have tint and my face is really pale so I really want to make sure that it is spread all over my neck as well. And it's also blended well on my face. Like it's going to really go inside the skin so it's not going to feel like cakey or any wet like it's lift up on your face. So I really want to blend it and spread it on my face with my warm hands. So it's technically just with the hands. So. I have now a spread up face so it's really really much cleaner now and then the next one is going to go back to the brows well not really go back because I haven't started yet so I still love using this one I got this also in Shopee now even the tons of moisturizer you can actually order it in Watson's in Shopee as well so this one is the drawing eyebrow in the color dark brown so my Brows are not really, you know, evident. I barely have brows. But then I use this one since I do have a bit of brown on my hair. And then just drag it. So I mainly drag the outline of my brows to what shape it will be. And then just spread that dark eye li um, line all over my brows so it will just spread there the darkness of the outline of the brows so there's my brows right now it's not too much which is my target because I didn't really want too much on the brows because I really want them more natural like it's still like your natural face so I don't want to change too much the shape of my brows because there's really not much to you know put in it so it's just nice and light and nice and fresh that's something I also I want to project right now in fall season although sometimes fall season is like that like dark brown intense kind of um, natural or intense warmth I really want it to be more relaxed more chilled like more natural like not too much on your face so yeah i'm putting a bit more tint yes on my pale face but aside from that i really just want the brows to be just that natural kind of look and then i want to try this product this is new i got it also from shopee and this is a brown one this is a wet pen liner and it's the animal soft eyeliner by bobaini so I got this from Shopee. I might link it also down below. But yeah, you can see this as well. It really has a cute cloud pattern. It's adorable. And it's a brown one. And I'm just going to put that one here. So 
So it's it's a really nice, really warm color, which I really wanted to try with this because this one you're not gonna really put too much on your face. There. So you can see the warmth of the eyeliner and it's really nice because I actually like the color because it's really really going to be perfect for the fall season. And so after that, we're going to do is the blush, which I'm really excited. Now, be be mindful that we're not yet done with the eyes. We're going to do the blush first. And that is where I put this one. This is the Caramello and I'm actually going to mix it with one intense color. Which is the um, Tease Me by Nichido. So this this one is Everbelena and this one is Nichido, which is actually daring to mix both these colors. But just look and see that it's going to really, really look great. So I'm just going to use my fingers with this. And then just put it on my face. Now I include my nose for this. To add a bit more warmth also, although I did put tinted moisturizer already, it's still good to add a bit more warmth. So I'm going to put that here. So I put the Tisme already, and then we're going to put the Caramello. Now with the Caramello, I'm going to put it in multiple places, which is the first one is here. And then the next one is we're going to put it here, just a bit. And we're actually gonna put a bit here. Okay, so I've literally put all over my face. And then we're just going to spread. Okay, so I've put a lot of the caramello here at the bottom of my cheekbones just to add a bit of depth there and then mix it well with the um, blush which is really nice and it adds like a bit of an orange color it's not too much I really want it to be just subtle because you don't want to like go to the office with like an intense makeup on unless that's where you're going to or that's what you're going for so the next one to that is we're going to use one of my favorite lip colors now, yes, it's a lip color. I tend to use a lot of my items all together in like the face, like multi-purpose, but it really works. It does. So, the color that I'm going to use, I don't know if this is still available, but I really, really love the color of this. It's the Avon in U110. I don't know. Oh, Sheer Raspberry. That's the name. It literally is sheer so here's the color I don't know if you're going to see it properly but this is such a nice color and so I just put lip balm so there's nothing there's no color in my lips and then just this one so we did that and it's nice and moisturized now it doesn't look full at the moment but actually for me it it does look full then we're gonna put on the caramello and then we're just going to spread it all over my lips now I love adding brown to a lot of my like colors because I just like to add that as a scheme to the fall color because fall has a lot of brown tones on it but I wanted to add a bit of twist to the color mixing it with other like um, warmer colors like red or those kind of tones like red or pinkish tones just to add a bit of my own personality and how I want to dress brown in fall so yeah so the um this one is actually matte the caramello but the Avon is actually glossy which it, it actually blends well because the cool color of it is going to like mix the glossiness and also the matte colors it's moisturizing but it has that kind of muted color and then after that i'm using this one i don't know if you'll agree but it's something that i really like to do on my makeup i use the extra bit of the one in my lips here in my eyes And then the rest, just spread it here 
on your nose there and then we'll go back to the eyeliner and we're going to actually darken this just to add the emphasis final part to the makeup is this which is the mascara so I'm just gonna use me my the um, what's this small what's, what's it what do you call this again oh eyelash curler so make sure I'm gonna pinch it I don't know if this one actually does much I assuming it doesn't do too much but it's okay I might change it to a different one. I might just go upstairs and get the other curler that I use. But for now, this is fine. Because like I said, I want it to be like a natural makeup color or makeup look. Not too heavy on the fall. And then here's my mascara. This is the Nichido in Eyelash Defining Mascara in brown. So I really am on that like brown stage in fall. Sometimes I tend to make this a little bit more dry so that it will stick more. And so with the mascara, it actually adds a bit more darkness to the eyes. And it actually makes my eyes look bigger and whiter. So yeah. So here it is. It's, it's just really simple. And not too much on it. Like just a simple kind of fall look. And although my shirt is kind of like bright yellow, I really want to put, um, put like layers like a brown blazer on it and it really really looks nice and um fresh on but still on that fall season and like i said here it's not really a fall color season in the weather or the season here in the philippines but i really want to twist it a bit so mixing it there and then with like office look not too much so this is the final fall look now i hope you like this video if you do please try to comment down below if you want to if you actually follow this one you have you probably have the colors that you have of these kind of basic shades and i think i just really want you guys to apply that kind of twist to your face don't be afraid to experiment on colors for your face because you know you won't be able to know what will really match you perfectly if you don't really try and mix it maybe try to even put like maybe a pop of blue a bit for the mascara they have that in Nichido as well, so it's really nice. So yeah, I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe down below. Don't forget to um, comment and actually ring the bell. And hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys!